This is Liam with Joma Building Leaders. We're going to take a look at the difference between attitude and skill. Before we begin, uh, I'm just going to pose a question real quick. Um, if we were paying attention last week, maybe we have an idea of where I'm going. But uh, we're all leaders of our own particular little teams. And my question to you before we begin is that given that your team has the basic skills for their role, what percentage of your team's success would you attribute to their mindset? So if everybody is able to do the job you need, if they're doing well, how much of that do you think is their mindset that encourages them to do well? It's pretty high, right? 90%, 80%, it's high. How much time and effort do you currently invest in cultivating that percentage? Probably not that much, not intentionally. We're lucky that we have great people working for us. So do you think you'd get a further return on your investment if you were to invest in that area? So we know that if they have the basic skill, their mindset will make them do a better job. So maybe if we invest in helping their mindset a little bit, we might even get more returns. It's just something to think about as we're moving through. It's often only ego that gets away in, in the way of efficiently completing a task. We have the power as Joma as a group to do anything. The things that trip things up, that stop things, are individuals' egos along the way. Maybe we're building a deck and then we get halfway through and we start to think that, mm, I'm not sure if I did that right. We have a choice, we have a crossroads. Do I reach out to someone and ask for help on this? Or do I keep pushing ahead because I don't want them to think that I don't know what I'm doing? Well, if I choose the pushing ahead one and then I complete work and it's wrong, I'm going to have to undo it all. It was more work for everybody. Should have swallowed my ego way back when and just double checked. So here's the thing, even knowing this, even knowing this, all of us, every single one of us will continually make that mistake. I've been practicing this ego thing forever because when you're in martial arts when you're in the ring doesn't matter how big my ego is if you're beating the hell out of me there's nothing i can do about that so you have to learn to get rid of that thing so you can actually operate on what you're doing and even knowing that i still still to this day trips me up man when you're not expecting it it trips you up it's not until hindsight you look back and you're like ah i probably should have made a better decision then when you reach out to somebody one of your teammates and you say hey i just want your opinion i just want your advice you're not saying I don't know what's up. You're saying, I'm looking for a little bit of confidence. I'm looking for your experience. In martial arts, we have this thing called the tap. It's the submission. I tap out, you got me. The, on the outset, it looks like I dominated you. I'm more superior than you, and I made you tap out to me. That's not how we view that. In the fight game, anything can happen any minute. I could be the, the best guy in the whole wide world, but some crazy thing could happen, and then you got me, and I'm gonna have to tap to you. That doesn't mean that you're a better man than me, it doesn't. What that means is that you were able to take advantage of that situation better than I was. Your training and your experience won that day. So when I tap, I'm not saying, man, you're better than me. I'm saying, well done, good job. You're awesome. So we're all a team. If I ask you for help, it's not me tapping out. It's me saying, hey, man, you're awesome. I'd like your experience on this. So as a team, we can put the best product out the first time. When someone comes and asks you for experience, that's not a thing that you go home and then jump on Facebook. Hey, I choked out a UFC guy today. It's the last thing you want to do, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> If you ask someone for help, that's not anything against yourself at all. It's because we're trying to do the best for the team. And the way to do that is right the first time. In the military, we have a saying, slow is steady, steady is fast. If I go slow and steady and I do it right the first time, it's right and it's done. If I go fast and I mess it up, I've got to go back again. I go fast, I mess it up, I gotta go back again. I'm done, finished. Slow is steady, 
Steady is fast. If you have confidence in what you're doing, it's the way to go every time. What is it they say? Carpenter measures twice, cuts once.